Hi, it's Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with another FSD beta video, but this video is gonna be different than what I've done in the past. I'm still on 10.11.2, but you know what? FSD has been getting pretty darn good for just standard driving that I'm afraid these videos are gonna get really boring really quickly. So my goal in this video is to put FSD beta through its paces and put it in situations that you may not typically see. It's likely not going to end very well um, in certain cases, but I really think it is time to really start stressing FSD beta. Now, as a disclaimer, I don't want you to think that I'm trying to bash Tesla and FSD and beta and say, look, you can't drive. That's not my intent. I actually think FSD as a whole is fantastic and absolutely mind-blowing and I've had it for since last October of 2021 with 10.2 I think anyway I'm going to put this through different scenarios different situations and we're going to see how it reacts and then as the betas come out more frequently and get better we're going to go through these same intersections and compare does it get better so let's go ahead and get started let's jump into our first corner that we have up here, which is a right-hand turn. Now, what's so special about a right-hand turn? Well, this right-hand turn is going from a 40-mile-an-hour stop to a cross-traffic that is going 55 miles per hour. And in the past, FSD Beta has been challenged by trying to figure out when to go, being assertive, and making the right-hand turn in the right place at the right time, and then getting up to speed. So let's We'll see how it does. Okay, we are approaching that right-hand turn we just talked about. We're gonna be coming to a stop. It looks like there's quite a bit of traffic ahead of us, so we will clearly stop and wait for traffic. Um, it is about four o'clock in the afternoon and we're right at the start of what I would call Iowa rush hour. Um, if you're from any large metropolitan area, you're gonna go, man, you're crazy, this isn't rush hour, but it's Iowa rush hour. Um, so let's see how it does in this turn. We've got some oncoming traffic. Uh, we're doing a pretty good job here with staying on with the, the car. Now we're up to our stoplight here and we've got some traffic, we're hesitating. I would really wanna be going now, just stop. Oh, I gotta punch it because we got a van behind us that is right on us. Again, hesitated. It wasn't quite sure. It was. It really felt like a confidence problem. All right, here's another weird situation that is a little atypical. Um, driving out of a subway here and it wants to take me straight forward it thinks it's a road it's kind of a road um, it has a drop off and it has a right hand turn um, and we'll see how it does so let's get started we are technically in a parking lot and it's going to navigate us to this space. Whoa! And it wants to rocket off the end of there. So I had to brake. Now we're gonna go ahead and re-engage. And we have a hard right with barricade here. Now turn left on 35th Street. And it was gonna go right into the barricade. Um, you notice on the navigation here that it doesn't necessarily think what's going on is what's going on. Uh, this is another indication of where the nav uh, really, I think, plays into helping FSD beta have a true general awareness of what is actually going on inside the car. You can see here, this is a rough spot. Um, and hopefully things will improve. I have no doubt things will improve, but um, this is something that you gotta, this is a situation you gotta kind of keep your eye on. All right, now we're gonna see a situation that involves road construction. We are going to make a right-hand turn up here on uh, a little ways here in about 0.1 miles, and the car can't get over because of construction. It is already signaling. It's trying to figure out what it wants to do, what's gonna happen. Nope, see it wants to dodge in there. 
and I have to overcome this and it wants to stop because there's traffic behind me. Again, road construction is another area that it tends to struggle with a little bit. Okay, we're coming up on another situation. It is, I'm on a 25 mile an hour road and I'm gonna be coming up to a road that is a T and there's cross traffic left and right. There is slight obstructions and it's kind of difficult to see. You kind of got to pull out. And for whatever reason, this intersection when turning left, it seems to have trouble with. It has never completed this intersection gracefully or if at all. So we have a stop sign here. Cross traffic doesn't stop. We have a car in front of us. Let's see what it's gonna do. It's inching out, it's inching out. Yeah. Actually, that one wasn't too bad. Um, I'll give that a B plus. That is one area where it has struggled in the past, especially if there are, especially if there's traffic. All right, we're gonna be going through a couple of scenarios here. One is something that may be relatively unique to Iowa, I guess, but uh, we have roundabouts. A lot of places have roundabouts. They're relatively new out here, but this one is kind of a weird roundabout. It is what I call a small roundabout, and you'll see why here in a second. It is not a typical roundabout. It's basically a small roundabout with a curb circle in the middle, and in general, this has been an area where the Tesla has struggled a little bit. Um, it is generally hesitant in roundabouts in general, might have to give it a nudge into it, but actually navigating it is rather tight. And where we're going right now, we're going to be going straight through. So we're going to need to be going on the second exit and uh, we'll go through. We've got a car in front of us here and we'll see how it goes. There's a fair amount of traffic. I have found in the past that I do need to use the gas uh, to actually get it to initiate. We are pretty much coming to a stop. Again, I'm going to give it the gas and we're gonna see how well we go through this turn. And overall, not too bad. It didn't actually hit the curb. So that is actually an improvement over what I have seen in the past. So small roundabouts, they can get around that initial hesitation of knowing when it needs to go. And frankly, a lot of humans out here don't know when it's time to go on a roundabout. Um, it will obviously get better. The next thing that we're gonna go through is a more traditional roundabout. This is our cornstalk roundabout. We call it the cornstalk roundabout. Well, I don't know if we actually call it the cornstalk roundabout. I call it that. It's got a large corn stalk um, sculpture in the center of it. It's kind of cool. So we're gonna go ahead and go straight through this roundabout and see what happens again. All right, we're approaching the cornstalk roundabout here. It's usually not a lot of traffic. Again, it wants to completely stop. I'll go ahead and give it the gas to tell it it's okay to go, letting off the gas. Sorry, I keep saying the word gas, old habits. And it navigated that roundabout really, really well and really, really smoothly. Overall, very impressed. That's enough intersections for now to kind of get across my point of 10.11.2. Still has some rough edges when you really stress it, but overall it is doing an impressive job considering that just six, eight months ago, it couldn't do any of these things. So I'm gonna add more types of intersections as we go, but I wanted to get this out to you just to kind of show you where we're at. And so hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did hit that like button, even better, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified the next time a video like this comes out. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.